Welcome back fellow astronomers. My name is Eric with Astrophotography at Bordo 5 and recently I took my telescope out in the night sky and imaged the Iris Nebula. Took over four hours of images of this beautiful bright blue gem in the sky. Astrophotography is a lot of fun but there's some things that you can do to help your photography be even better and one of them is dithering and that's what I want to talk about. So what is dithering? When you are recording, whether it's audio or visual, most of us want to get a true representation of what we're hearing and seeing. In technical terms, we want the signal to be faithfully recorded and reproduced. Anything that deviates from that signal is noise. When I'm recording audio outside, I'm doing my best to eliminate all sources of noise from my videos. A passing vehicle, a random dog barking, crickets humming, or wind noise in the background. Other types of audio noises are hisses, hums, crackles, and pops. In visual imaging, noise can come from a lot of sources. Temperature differences in your imaging equipment and camera sensor, electronic circuit noise, shot noise, etc. And although we can't eliminate noise completely, dithering is a great method to help reduce the noise in your images in post-processing by dealing with hot sensor pixels, bad columns, and unwanted artifacts. Here's a close-up picture on one of my light images I took while shooting the Iris Nebula. The close-up image features at least three stars. You'll notice that the background is not the color black, but a random pattern of noise. And this image was taken with my ZWO ASI 183 Pro CMOS color camera. After even zooming in on some of this black portion of the sky and brightening up the image, all you can see, as the Grinch who stole Christmas would say, noise, noise, noise. The noise in the background is quite apparent, and the pixels on my camera sensor registered something other than the pitch black of space. Stacking software can get rid of some of the noise in your images, but what can happen is you get walking noise. Due to the imperfect polar alignment of your equipment and other reasons, a dark fixed pattern of noise can show up appearing in each of your subsequent light frames in a constant direction. So how exactly do we dither? Well, if you're shooting your image without the ability to dither, you'll have to make very small manual adjustments to your mount. Only the slightest and smallest movements are needed for every few frames. Most guiding imaging software has the ability to dither with a separate auto guiding camera. The new ZWO ASIR 2600MC Duo Pro Camera features both a primary imaging sensor and a guide sensor. This also works as well, eliminating the need for a separate guide camera and guide scope. On my equipment, I'm using the ZWO ASIR Plus controller with my guide scope camera and the ZWO 220 Mini Astrophotography Camera. So let's explore exactly how you can activate the dithering settings in this particular software. Once you have everything turned on and the app activated, select the guide scope setting. Scroll down to the bottom to dithering settings and press the arrow. Slide the bar to turn on dithering. Adjust the settings for pixels, interval, and the RA only to your personal preference. My preference is to dither by two pixels and setting the interval to every three frames. If you set the interval less than three frames, this can extend your imaging session a bit over the night as your telescope will have to settle after each dithering movement prior to imaging again. On the RA settings, I leave that off. Next, go back to the guide scope setting and select the guide stability settings. I have my equipment set for two for stability, 10 seconds for settle time, and 60 seconds for timeout. Your settings may be different depending on your equipment and location. These settings work well for me as long as my polar alignment and guiding accuracy are good, which I'll dive to in a future video. With another dark night recently, I focused my telescope on the Iris Nebula, a beautiful bright blue reflections nebula in the constellation of Cephas and it is being lit up by a bright young star and it is surrounded by cold dark clouds of interstellar dust. An amazing sight in the sky. I took 120 images at two minutes of exposure over a period of four hours. Pulled out five images due to airplanes crossing over my images. 
I used the dithering feature, stacked it in my ASI Air Deep Sky Stacker software, processed it in Photoshop to get rid of the light pollution to bring out the amazing beauty of this night sky gem. If you like my videos, please give me the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Until next time, thanks for joining me on Astrophotography at Bordel 5.